My first guest is an actor, singer, author, and cultural icon. His hit show, RuPaul's Drag Race, premieres Monday at 9 on Logo. Take a look. What's, what's going on? I will show you versatility when Santino wins a sewing competition and Visage wears a turtleneck. But don't be scared. There's tears as well as fears. I've given up everything in my life to be a drag queen. You have overcome that. And I'm so proud to see it. I'm so proud to see it. Please welcome everybody's favorite supermodel. You better work, RuPaul. Now, it has been a long time, but it's like getting on a bike, right? You and 20 I 20 years. 20 years. This man really kicked off my career on this show. This is where I got my start. Blame Thank you. Me. You can blame me. <laughs> hey, Naomi. Yes. You were on the show a lot. Uh, the last I remember was 93. That was fun. Oh, look, look. <laughs> How long does it take to get to get in full face? Well, it depends on what the client needs. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Thank you. No. Uh, you know, it just it doesn't. It, you know, uh, you know, it depends on what it is. You could do it in. You could do it in 20 minutes if right, you right, had to. Right. You know. But I like to take my time. You know, eat a little chicken, do a little dance. Yes. You know, I just take my time. That's how I roll. I heard That's that. That's how I am. How often do you roll that way? Like, like. How often do you dress up like that? When somebody is willing to pay me, I heard that. Mm -hmm. I will do. I'm gonna put this thing. I'm gonna sit on this. That's all right. I, if I, that's the only time you'll see me in drag is if I'm getting paid. Hey, word, hello. Yes. That's good. No, it's, I'm just keeping it real, Arsenio. No, hey, the last time I was in drag, I said I'm gonna do it once, and I'm gonna do it for the biggest check to come my way. I was RuHaul and coming to America. Yes, I remember. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. That looks like all my aunties. She's gorgeous. She's <laughs> gorgeous. You should do it again. Oh, no. Yes. You should come, you should come on RuPaul's Drag Race and do uh, RuHaul. You got to do that. So that anyway, dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you attribute your career longevity to? I, you know, I, you know, I really enjoy. It. I love to laugh. I love to dance. I love colors, and you know, I'm always inspired by, you know, what moves me on a on, on an emotional level. So I've just been lucky that I love all of this stuff, you know. And with this show, we've been able to, uh, in, you know, start like you with my career. We've been able to do that with these other young kids to come through our show, and they've got careers around the world. They're in South Africa and, and Australia. So I just, I love, I love entertainment. I love beauty. You know, you and I have always talked about serious topics too. Um, we talked about basketball one time, so I know you're into sports. Let's talk about Michael Sam. You're the perfect person to yeah. weigh in on that. Well, you know what's interesting about Michael Sam, and everybody knows what that's about. I'm always surprised that that's still a, an, an issue. That you know, someone who are, is being themselves, you know, that it's such a big deal. You know, you should be able to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And if, and if you're good at sports or, or whatever, that shouldn't matter. But, you know, unfortunately, our culture is a masculine-based culture. We're, our culture is obsessed with masculinity. I mean, look at the Washington Monument. I mean, what does that say to you? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me ask you another question. As a black man, is homophobia more prevalent in our community? That's a very good question. You know, uh, when you, you know, this is the thing. People who have been oppressed take on the characteristics of their oppressor, and that is unfortunate. You know, it, it takes a lot for people to climb above what they've been taught. It takes a huge effort to do that. So, you know, you would think that natural allies would be black folks, gay folks, because of the plight is really the same, uh, that there would be, they'd be natural allies. But 
that's not the case. And it's because of that, that oppression uh, storyline, you know? Yeah. Now, you know, devil's advocate to that, a lot of black people say it's not the same because you don't have the past and the oppression for the gay battle, you know? Right. No, it, you know, I'll tell you why it's the same. It has to do with the ego needing to strengthen itself through putting someone else down. That's the similarity. And that's the same with, you know, with, uh, you know, people who've been oppressed for religion or race or sexuality. Has, the, you know, it's not even about homosexuality. It's almost not even about any of it. It's about the ego needing to prop itself up and strengthen itself and its identity. You know? Wow. Yeah. You make a brother think about an answer. I, you know, I've been, this is stuff, you know, I think about this stuff, this is stuff that I've dealt with in my career and in my personal life, and, um, you know, it's not rocket science. Love is the answer. Wow. Okay. Um, ooh. Let's talk about the two words, born naked. Yes, <laughs> yes, thank you for bringing that up. Yes, my sir. new album comes out Monday. Wow. I am so excited. Ooh. Yes. Cool, cool cover. Yes. I actually, I have a duet on there with Martha Wash on oh, this. Yeah. Yes. And... Now, wasn't Martha Wash also the voice from CNC Music Factory? Yes. The real voice? The real voice and Black Box. Oh, yeah. And she had a, a duet with Luther, and she's a great singer. And also, I have a, a, a song on there with Big Frida, the Queen of Bounce. You know New Orleans Bounce? Ooh, absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Thanks for doing that. It sweeps. Yes, it's sweeps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, and it's great. It's called Freaky Money. It is uh, hilarious, this song. Right on. Now, you sang on my show back in the day. I hope one day you'll come. And, I would... Uh, in full drag. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to do it, too. Maybe, maybe we can do a duet. That we could do the, the Big Frida song. We could do a bounce song. RuPaul and Ru and RuHaul together again. <laughs> yes! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fabulous? Oh, my God, that would be so great. Let's talk about your reality show. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race, first of all, a great title. Thank you. Great we, title for We have so much fun over there. We have a black, and you can see it in the show. Oh, in that clip, it was cute. But, but you know, there's the passion is there, the tears are there. This show is really about the, the tenacity of the human spirit. Because these little boys grow up, you know, they, they see colors, they, they're, they're, they got too much sensitivity on things, Arsenio. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it's almost a curse to have to be so sensitive and so cold. Here we, and they are heroes because they have overcome, against all odds, they have shined like the lotus in the mud. Mm -hmm. And they are, and this show is for them. So that's why people love this show. Because everybody alive who's ever had a dream can relate to, you know, overcoming it and shining like the star that you are, baby. I heard that. Like the star that you are. So, so any, any person, could turn on this show and enjoy it. Sure, absolutely. This is for everybody. This is not just about drag. This is about anybody who's ever had a dream. Anybody who loves... You know, when I, when I see babies and they're in the show and I'm in drag and or they see all the shiny colors there. Yeah, I like that. I love, nah, nah, nah. We all love it. It's how, how are you going to deny the shiny? How are you going to deny the colors? <laughs> um, now, at the top of our show, there's a gentleman on the staff named Kyle. What's his name? Kyle. Kyle. Yes, and I asked Kyle for a favor because I, you know, I, I haven't interviewed you in a long time and I wanted to present something special and I wanted to stay within the drag race realm. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh. So, Kyle, come meet RuPaul. This is Kyle. Wow, Kyle! My good, you better work! <laughs> yeah! Hey, uh, season six of RuPaul's Drag Race premieres Monday, February 24th, the same day Born Naked is released. So check them out, y'all. Now, give Kyle a couple tips before you know, we go. You know, you gotta sissy that walk. 
You got a sissy that walk, Kyle. Now, I want you to walk back here and come back here. I want you to sissy that walk, Kyle. Robin, I'm gonna do something special. Just relax for a moment. Kyle, you take us to commercial. Absolutely. <laughs>